On the 3rd of July, Firefly's Alpha, aka the only small lift launch vehicle, completed a successful delivery of eight CubeSats. This marks Firefly's first launch for 2024, fifth launch overall, and second launch to successfully deliver payloads to orbit. Despite Firefly's claims of being the only small lift launch vehicle, what if I told you that this is simply not the case? In today's video, let's compare Firefly to an alternate small lift launch provider that, despite not existing, has 20 times the number of successful deliveries. My name is Scott, welcome to the channel, let's get into it. Starting with an overview of each of these small lift offerings, the development of Rocket Lab's Electron started in 2013 with its first launch in May of 2017. The Electron has a 300 kilogram payload capacity and hosts a 7.5 to $10 million price tag. Electron has one suborbital flight under its belt and has plans for reusability with its first reused booster expecting to launch later this year. Moving over to Firefly's Alpha, development started in 2014 with its first launch taking place in September of 2021. While Alpha's payload capacity is more than triple compared to the Electron, its price tag is only twice the amount. Firefly has recently announced that they are planning for Alpha to be both suborbital and recoverable in the not too distant future. Next up, let's compare the first five flights for each of these launch providers. Starting with Rocket Lab, their first five launches saw an 80% success rate with the failure of their first launch on behalf of the third party's telemetry data forcing a flight termination due to the uncertainty. Firefly, on the other hand, is now sitting at a 40% success rate with two successes, two partial successes, and one failure. Comparing the time between the first five launches for each of these companies shows us that Rocket Lab slightly exceeds Firefly in terms of launch cadence. With Firefly expecting another three missions in 2024, however, we have a rough idea of what to expect for the first eight launches in total, allowing us to compare to Rocket Lab's first eight launches. If Firefly does hit four launches in 2024, they'll be flying at a slightly improved initial cadence compared to Rocket Lab. Looking ahead to the future of launch offerings from these two companies, competition will undoubtedly persist as both of them are developing a successor to their small lift launch vehicles. So starting with Rocket Lab, Neutron was announced in March of 2021 with an expected lift capacity of 13 to 15 tons and a price tag in the range of 55 to 60 million dollars. With its first test flight expected in mid to late 2025, Rocket Lab plans to make their first stage of the vehicle reusable via platform landing similar to SpaceX's Falcon 9. Moving over to Firefly, in 2018, Alpha's successor was originally known as Beta, consisting of three Alpha cores strapped together akin to what we see today with SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. In 2019, Firefly partnered with Aerojet Rocketdyne to develop a single core rocket powered by Rocketdyne's AR-1 engine. In 2020, the Beta rocket was redesigned to be a scaled up Alpha with plans for the first launch to be in the second half of 2024. In 2022, after several revisions, the Beta vehicle is now simply known as MLV, which is an abbreviation to the appropriately titled medium launch vehicle. This new offering for Firefly's medium lift category has an expected lift capacity of 16 to 17 tons with an expected price tag on par with a Falcon 9, so roughly $70 million. The first instance of the MLV will take flight in late 2025 to early 2026, with the MLV's first stage providing lift to a Northrop Grumman Antares 330 second stage. Not long after that will be a fully stacked MLV, with both the first stage and the second stage belonging to Firefly. This version of the MLV is expected to launch a couple times in 2026, then, according to a recent interview with Firefly's CEO, Bill Weber, launching 8 to 12 times per year starting in 2027. While MLV will initially be an expendable rocket, 
Firefly has mentioned that they have plans to eventually incorporate first stage reusability. So putting this all together, both companies still have a lot to prove. Despite its smaller size, the Electron is clearly dominating the small launch category, despite Firefly's claims of Alpha being the only provider. So I'm going to pose the question to you, the viewer. If you were lining up a payload provider, which launch provider would you go with? Would you go with Alpha with a price per kilogram of 16,000 and a 40% success rate, or the Electron with a price per kilogram of 29,000 and a 92% success rate? Be sure to leave a comment below, and if you got value from the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to check out the Patreon. Without saying too much, I've been re-listening to a number of old interviews and I'm having a bit of an epiphany regarding Rocket Lab's valuation. So, the next update is going to be pretty drastic, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for the hangout. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Peace.